So one of the reasons I bought the ATEM Mini Pro ISO is that you can achieve many of the things that you can from the bigger advanced panels just by using some software called Companion. As great as the ATEM Mini Pro is, there are some limitations to the panel. If you've been through the software, you'll realize it's powerful, but it's very difficult. It's kind of like trying to drive a car with a mouse. You're gonna crash. When you're live streaming, you need your eyes up on your monitors so you can see what's going on and you want your hands with some tactile control. Now, fortunately, we can overcome these limitations with some software called Companion. And when we pair that with some hardware called Stream Deck, you're gonna get full control of your ATEM Mini Pro ISO. Now, I've gone ahead and built an actual profile, which I'm making available as free download on my website's mailing list. So make sure you go grab that. All right, let's take a look at what this thing can do. Within Companion, you can direct cut your inputs or you can do the preview and cut. You can put black to preview or you can hold it down for color one, two or bars. You can long press to change the upstream key input. You got hyperdeck like control of VLC so you can queue up the video that you want to preview it. Press again to reset it to the top. And then when you're ready to take, press and hold the play button and it will transition across. You can control H2R so you can bring in your logo, ticker, score, you can bring in time, you could have a message, bring in a lower third, also from the right side. You can clear them with the touch of a button. You can increase your scores, hit hide all, and it'll clear it away. You have pre-built keys, so you can have a circle at the top or the bottom. You can have a chroma key presenting on the left or the right, or you could put yourself in a box like I'm doing here, built within a PowerPoint presentation. There's your DVE control between choosing the left or the right side of the screen, or else taking a box and putting it on one side, left or right, little box on the top or on the bottom. You can set it as a DVE is full and there's an option also for a phone, either for like a call in or you're demonstrating something on the phone or you can make it like a full screen so it's edge to edge. There's also upstream key palette details in Luma, Chroma, Pattern, DVE. There's a flying key so you can choose which corner you wanna go into and make it bigger or you can make it really small. There's a media pool so you can control all 20 images and if you wanna change the background, you can just do that or else you can cycle through it. On the home page, you can cycle through it as well. You've got audio control so you can have your faders going up and down. You can reset them, you can toggle them on and off and you can press and hold for audio follows video. You have a tally and wireless control and you also retain access to the Stream Deck's native profiles. So being able to control Chrome and all of the slide controls, a Resolve remote editing session, and there's integration with Zoom. With this layout, I wanted to make sure the most number of sources were available, two audio inputs, three cameras, and then video playback, motion graphics, and slides, which are coming through HDMI 4. There is so much in there to unpack. I can't go over it in such a short space of time. So coming up, I've got three tutorial videos for you. A demonstration of the capabilities that this panel can do, showing you how to install this. And then the last video is gonna be more advanced, which is customize it to suit your workflow. The Stream Deck is available at a reasonable price. Companion is free and it runs without the Stream Deck and you can use your computer, your tablet, or your phone if you wanna get started with that. And even if you do own a Stream Deck, you might wanna run it through some of these devices anyway so that you have more buttons in front of you. This profile is available to download for free on my website. I've also included everything you need to get started, including the ATM macros, Stream Deck profiles, VLC preferences, and some Google Slides. I've also included some bonus demo media. So there are some videos to get you started in VLC, some graphics if you want to make some backgrounds like this one, Photoshop graphics within boxes and some lower thirds so that you can play around with the downstream key. But for now, go to the website, grab that download and I'll see you in the next video.